this tutorial i will explain how we can develop a user form with controls like text box radio button and command button here i have a sheet and this sheet is for customer data and we can use user form to enter information of customer like customer id name age and gender i have a button on this sheet if i click on this button i can see a user form so let me add some information or information of one customer let's say customer id is 1003 name age like 32 gender and now if i click on this button so what we can see is that information is transferred from user form to a excel sheet now if i want to close this form i will click on the button exit and we can see we are on the excel sheet if i click again then we can enter more information of customers and transfer that information to excel sheet so in this tutorial we will see how we can develop this kind of user form from starting or from scratch let me open a new excel file or i will use a new excel file so here let me increase some width of column and I will give headings like customer ID and then in next column I can say name then age and then gender I will select all these four cells above go to home merge and we can give heading name like customer information entry sheet we can color this to make it better let me select some range and give border now what i will do i will go to developer tab and then go to insert and from activex control select command button and then drag a small command button now i will double click on this command button and when we double click we can go to editor window this is vba editor window and the file that we have is named as book one and here we have option or this sheet this workbook when i right click on this workbook then using insert and user form we can get a new user form we can increase the size of user form on this user form we will drag and drop all the required controls let's select label from toolbox so i will drag a small label then i can right click go to properties and for this caption i will make it as customer id we can see one is caption that will display for user and one is name so each control we will make changes or use in this tutorial are mostly caption that will display and the name that we will use for vba programming so let me close this window i will add one more label for name and then one for age one more for gender i will right click then make it name and for this i will make it as age and for fourth i will change caption as gender now i will close this property window and here one more control that is text box i will drag one text box for entering information of customer id another text box for capturing name another a small text box for capturing age 
for capturing information of gender we can use radio button so what i will do i will select radio button we call them option button as well one more option button then finally two command buttons so at this stage we can say that we have dragged and dropped required controls on user form next step is to do programming for some controls before i proceed for programming of controls i would like to make note of few points that will help us to do programming let's say this is text box 1 so if i right click go to properties i can see this is text box 1 so we have here text box 1 text box 2 text box 3 text box 1 is for customer id and 2 is for name text box 3 is for age then i will right click here for option button 1 we can see it is option button 1 caption i can change to let's say mail so this is option button 1 let me write on the notepad we have option button 1 for mail and option button 2 for female so i will select option button 2 and for this caption i can change to female then i can close this property window in the same way if i select user form right click and we can check the property it is user form 1 so we can write this also we have user form 1 let me close this for this command button 1 i will right click and in property let me change the caption as click information click to transfer information for command button 2 caption i will change to exit and close this property window now my next step is i will select this button and i will double click so when i double click on this button that means we will write code on command button that is for user form 1 let me double click and here i will write code and we know that we have these controls so let me start writing code so first if i go to sheet my first task is to check that which row is the next available blank row and for that the logic that i will use i will capture information by using vba code that which row is last filled row and then i will add one in that information so that we can write or transfer information from user form to excel sheet on the next available row so i will go to vba editor where we have let me show you again user form and when i double click on this button then i will write vba code here so the first task is to check that what is the last filled row so let me write code for that last row equal to this workbook dot worksheet here i will give sheet name that is sheet one 
dot cells rows dot count then I will check by first column dot and XL up dot row so this will check that which row is the last filled row so for more information let me write now by using the controls from text box 1 I would like to transfer value in the first column so this is a, the logic that I'm going to apply so the code that I will use is worksheet then sheet 1 dot cells then row is last row plus 1 and column is 1 dot value equal to text box 1 dot text so for text box 2 and text box 3 I can copy the same code with some changes this is for first column this row is for second column and it is text box 2 this is for third column text box 3 so we are done with text boxes now next VB code I will write for option button so we have two option buttons but column that we will use to capture information is only column D that is column 4 so let me write what is the code for that so I would write like if option button 1 dot value equal to true then what should happen then let me write some or copy some code then in fourth column in next available row what should be the value equal to mail and then I will close this option buttons condition that is and if for option button 2 also I will do the same programming so I will copy these three lines paste here and some changes like option button two dot value and here if option button two dot value equal to true then it should be female but in the same column so we are done with the coding and when we enter information then on the click of command button that is there on user form information will be transferred as per the code so we are done with the coding on one command button that is there on user form now let me go to the user form now next button is exit so I will double click and code to exit or unload user form is unload user form 1 so we know that name is user form 1 we have already written so this is all code that we require to transfer information or user form that we have developed here now I will go to the sheet and the command button that is there on sheet if I double click then we can write code on this command button so the code that we need to write here is to show the user form and VBA code to show the user form is user form one dot show 
let me minimize this window and go to the excel sheet now i will click on this design mode button so when i click on design mode option then we are out of design mode now if i click on this button we can see the user form let me enter some information 1001 name xyz age 25 and mail if i click here there is some error so let me see what is that error so we have not put here text box 3 now we are done let's try again if i click this command button then 1001 name abc age 25 then mail and if i click here we can see that information is transferred from user form to excel sheet now if i press exit so we are out of user form if i remove all this information and again we want to use the user form I will click on this button whatever information we want to enter we can do that click on this button and transfer the information from user form to excel sheet so this is how we have developed user form and we have written VBA code on the controls of user form and created a automation kind of tool that will be helpful kind of creating survey sheets templates and different automations in VBA thank you for watching this tutorial if you like it please subscribe to the channel for more videos